beautiful souls welcome back to my channel today i'm here with a pick a card reading on the next six months of your life we're looking into the next six months of your financial romantic and spiritual journey just letting you guys know that i'm open for personal readings and chakra cleansings if you wish to book a reading with me you could check out my etsy shop linked in the description box down below it's called tarot and divinity and for a cleansing you could contact me on my email or on instagram both my email and instagram are available in the description box or in the comment section so for today's reading i've picked out three piles for the first pile we have the citrine the second pile we have the carnelian and for the third pile we have the rose quartz feel free to pause the video in order to choose your specific pile some of you guys might be drawn to more than one pile it's completely up to you if you wish to watch both the piles or stick to one focus on each of the crystals energies and pick your pile the timestamps to your readings are available in the description box or in the comment section don't forget to check that out and i'll see you guys in the readings hey pile one those of you who chose the citrine this is your reading we have be here always with willing hands and heart with compassion beautiful okay before we get into these cards i'd like to take out some tarot cards to get an overall energy on what we're looking at today give me a second all right let's see have the six of swords at the bottom of the deck what do we have here we have the king of swords what else do we have we have the six of cups we have the three of pentacles we have the seven of wands the high priestess the nine of pentacles and finally the knight of pentacles interesting so the next six months of your life first let's look at your financial situation before we jump into the spiritual And romantic part of your reading so first of all your finances would drastically improve in the next 16 sorry six months i don't know why i said 16 but anyways in the next six months i can see you finding a great team with which you could collaborate with on many projects which could help you gain more recognition for your talent skills and help you grab multiple unique opportunities in your career or your workplace perhaps i can see maybe some of you guys could get a promotion at your workplace in the next 6 months and your personality completely transforming into this king of swords energy regardless of your gender i can see that you guys uh, would have an unemotional approach towards life in general being extremely calculative and aware 
of your surroundings filled with curiosity to learn more about what's going on which will get you th to this uh, nine of pentacles and the knight of pentacles this curiosity intellect and logical approach would help you stabilize your career basically maybe that's what's required to step up the game in your workplace or maybe that's how you gain more power at your job by being unemotional logistic calculative having good problem solving skills or good decision making and definitely abundance is coming in abundance with the nine of pentacles abundance luxury whatever you'd like to call it self-sufficiency as well i can see you guys being self-sufficient i mean you guys are already self-sufficient for some of you but i can see that you will achieve a higher level of self-sufficiency by creating so sorry by creating an example of how you got to the point where you will be in the future people would get inspired and motivated by you people would look up to you for what you've achieved with this nine of pentacles right here and i can see you guys having this bold confident and independent energy where you know what you're doing and you don't need anyone's help so first i was talking about how you'll work in a team so this might be the first three months where you'll work in a team through that experience you'll gain more learning the importance of teamwork you'll find joy in whatever work you're doing maybe the current job is quite tiring and boring as well so you learn how to love your job that's what i'm getting here because you'll find your community you'll find your people at your job whom you could talk to about almost anything and gain more experience from and the knight of pentacles talks about slow progress so definitely you'll hit a completely different spot in the next 6 months you'll start out as a team worker and then the leader at the end you'll reach the point of a leader at the end and stabilize that position that's what this knight of pentacles is talking about that you will secure the position secure your standing in your career or you know like uh, okay so secure your place in your workplace basically if that makes sense okay as i'm trying to say like you secure your position yeah and try your best to be patient with the process So you start out with this unemotional behavior to the Knight of Pentacles. So, okay, uh, I can see that you will gain more patience. I can see like the quicking of Pentacles. Sorry, the King of uh, Swords is someone who is impatient and curious about everything. Who is logical, observant, innovative, but can be quite rough with. his or her words right so i can see that you would be more cautious with the words you choose to speak in front of your superiors or newcomers whoever it may be and uh you would try your best to be of service to your group again okay so first you'll have this uh teamwork era and then this baddie 
self sufficient independent era where you work alone you don't want to work with anyone else and then again you will try your best to like be of service to others i mean it's not like you're not being service to others in this nine of pentacles energy but it's just that you're more like a brand in this nine of pentacles energy you're more like an example here you're setting an example for the future workers employees at the company you work in so that's what i'm getting and also with the knight of pentacles here i would definitely say that you'll treat problematic situations with a calm attitude rather than being impulsive with the king of swords energy you'll be quite patient dedicated to practical matters as well as look for a universal solution where no one is treated unfairly all right that's the career part of this reading now let's look at your romantic life in the next six months your love life in the next six months okay uh i can see someone returning from the past maybe an ex or a situationship someone whom you may have cut off ghosted or just broke up with yeah with the king of swords i can see you have made this decision based on whatever you know you followed your intuition and did whatever your gut said followed your gut which was the right thing to do because you knew what this person was doing behind your back and now this person is coming through with an apology here with the 6 of cups but you are quite unemotional towards that person but maybe there's a chance that you might warm up to them and you might create something stable again a stable relationship or a stable friendship with this person whatever you may be comfortable with but with the seven of wands here i can see some problems rising up again some gaps in communication or feeling left out feelings being dragged down suppressed and bottled up in order to create this union keep this going whatever relationship you may have with this person because the seven of swords talks about how you're trying your best to make this work even though you know something's wrong so i can definitely see those questions rising up again in your mind while you date this person or you're talking to this person such as uh, is this person trustworthy can there be something more with this person will this person leave will this person do this will this person do that all those questions popping out in your head and it's so annoying but you are still standing your ground standing firm on your decision to continue this if you wish to but i see you have a different approach towards this person with the high priestess here i can see that maybe you might be you will be dating other people at the same time while you deal with this person because you won't be committed to this person at that time yes you may have a friendship or you might have a situation ship with this person but i don't see them directly asking you for commitment here which will allow you to explore more options around you and that's what you will do because you also have the 9 of pentacles here which denotes your singularity and independence your relationship status would be single at the end of the 6 month period but i can see you being happy in your individuality your solitude because you you'll be satisfied with whatever is going on around in your life your career and your love life everything would just be fine you wouldn't need anyone to come and ruin all of that <laughs> because that's what you guys think you guys feel like it's just a burden now being in a relationship is a burden kind of like a burden because of your past experiences you've developed this thinking now just take whatever resonates in your situation this is only for some of you guys but anyways uh 
this person would delay in the decision making so i can see that he would be out there dating other people and while you date other people i can see that maybe you might find someone stable someone who is a bit slow moving but would offer you a good future definitely they would offer you a good future with them so i can i can see that maybe you might give this new person a chance with the knight of pentacles because you can see a future you can see the potential this person holds with you but i can see that you would be quite mysterious in your own energy which is why you'll attract more and more op like more and more opportunities to date others more and more people <laughs> to ask you out so it's like you're a magnet you're a magnet you're attracting other people you're quite desirable in the market <laughs> pile 1 that's what i'm getting here with the um, love with your love life in the next 6 months and let's look at the spiritual journey now okay so the spiritual journey here I can see you guys ascending and transforming into this knight of pen sorry nine of pentacles energy as well as this knight of pentacles energy this is quite the ending for your spiritual journey because everyone's spiritual journey is unique and different from one another and it's important to respect that but many people don't many people <laughs> try to opinionate things without any valid reason and i can see people doing that for you as well about whatever it is you guys wish to do so the high priestess is a pretty spiritual card as well i can see you looking inside yourselves for guidance looking within trusting your intuition following your gut in order to make decisions and you know you're right you know you're always right you have a strong intuition pile one So follow your intuition, strengthen your intuition. I can see you guys strengthening your intuition by meditating or doing yoga, maybe practicing healing or cleansing for some of you. you might get into tarot cards as well. Whatever it may be. But everything is turning out to be in your favor at the end. everything is turned out to be favorable towards you so i don't think you need to worry about anything just go with the flow and do whatever you're doing right now focus on yourself never stop believing and what the universe has planned for you because there's a lot coming in for you pile one we have resolving conflict so i can see you guys resolving conflict in the next 6 months and finding in a peace with yourselves as well what else we have a year from now so a year from now something specific might happen that could be quite life changing i guess we have victory wow so this is a confirmation that whatever you're working on whatever you're doing right now it will be successful success is what i see in the next 6 months for you at all levels pile 1 you shall be victorious in whatever you invest in don't stop believing keep working hard and stay positive about whatever it is the universe has to offer many people make the mistake of not doing that and lose a good opportunity to expand their boundaries expand their horizons in different parts of their life we have children so for some of you i can see that if you do have children uh 
or if you don't have children okay wait first if you don't have children there's a chance that you might get pregnant if that's what you want if that's not what you want then this means uh, that you would heal your inner child your inner child would be healing in the next six months and i can see that many children you'll be surrounded around many ch children for some reason just take whatever resonates in the situation what else do we have here today We have the captain taking command. Teamwork. Wow. I was talking about this. I was talking about this with the nine of pentacles. This goes with the nine and the three of pentacles here. So definitely the main focus of your life in the next six months would be your financial journey, would be your finances strengthening and increasing your financial stability. Gaining momentum in your career in the progression of your career and as well like taking command of your life saying no to things that don't serve you anymore and standing up for yourselves in your community or society and working as a great team worker as well that's amazing so proud of you guys let's get the card from this oracle deck right here give me a second You have ghosts, so I can see that you guys would ghost people. Like I just said, you would just cut off people who don't serve you anymore, that are negatively influencing you, that don't serve a purpose in your life. You would just cut them off straight up. And if they question you or say something about it negatively, you would call them off. You would give them a piece of your mind and... Prove your point. Speak up for yourselves, like I just said. Uh, we have the funnel. Period of frustration, lessons to be learned. So definitely there will be periods of frustration in this journey. It's not all rainbows and sunshines. It's also a path with obstacles. And challenges which will shape you to the person you're supposed to be to get into this nine of pentacles energy you have to go through all of these challenges to gain that particular experience to be called and compared to as someone as the nine of pentacles okay we have so many cards i don't take that many cards Okay, we have the haystack karma okay so definitely i can see good karma coming your way as well or some negative karma okay i'm gonna i'm gonna be blunt with you you will get your karma you you will reap what you have sown we also have seahorse family matters and i can see that you guys might be resolving some conflicts now these conflicts could be associating to some family to your family okay that could be your family uh issue that needs to be resolved now that could definitely affect your career as well so i can see you guys uh, getting rid of those conflicts resolving those conflicts with your family members or your peers your friends whatever it may be whomever it may be or your ex even or someone you've dealt with because i can see them coming back with the six of cups and also i was getting that vibe that maybe some of you guys might get a job offer from a company that has already turned you down or has rejected you in the past okay that is a possibility for some of you just take whatever is We have the beetle, good fortune. Now this talks about the nine of pentacles and the knight of pentacles here with the three of pentacles and the victory card. This explains it. 
Good fortune is coming your way in the next six months, pile one. Just keep working hard and it will all come to you as it's supposed to, like it's planned from the universe. Because you deserve it all after whatever you've done so far. It's important that you get your big break. <laughs> pile one. I guess I'm gonna leave it here. I hope this resonated and I hope you enjoyed this reading. If this was if wasn't your reading, feel free to check out the other piles in this video or check out more videos on my channel. I'll see you guys soon. Take care, you guys. Bye-bye. Have a good day and be safe. Hey, pile two, those of you who chose the Carnelian, this is your reading. We have Violet. The answers and truths are always within. And we also have Alliance. Let's see, what are the... Next six months of your life like? Let's see. Just letting you guys know that I'm open for personal readings. If you wish to buy or purchase any of my personal readings, check out my Etsy shop. My Etsy shop is linked in the description box down below or in the comments section. It's called Tarot and Divinity. We have the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Wow, I love this pile already. We have the Ten of Cups. We have the Emperor. We have the Fool, the Queen of Cups. The Two of Cups, the Empress. The King of Pentacles. And we also have the Magician here. We're going to consider this as well in a reading. This is amazing, pile two. I'm impressed by these energies. Such positive energies. I haven't received such positive energies in such a long time. I'm so glad you guys could join me today. It's a pleasure to have you all here. Okay, let's get into your reading. So let's start off with the 10 of cups. So the next six months would start off with quite the positive energy with the Ten of Pentacles, an energy of fulfillment, happiness, lasting happiness, joy, alignment, being aligned with yourselves, with your loved ones, with your partner, with your children, if you do have children, with your parents, so, with your career, with your spiritual journey, aligned on all levels, having that perfect life which you've always dreamed of maybe you are living that phase right now maybe you are in the sun of cups energy if you're not i can see that the next six months like the beginning of those in the beginning of those few months i can see you having this ten of cups energy for quite some time and that positive environment, that positive energy would inspire you to step into your emperor energy, which is an, which is a, an energy <laughs> of authority, being pragmatic, setting the rules, stepping into power, having control over the society in a way i would definitely say that this is a leadership card right here so i can see you guys stepping into your leadership qualities in the next six months as well in the beginning of those next six months uh, maybe the second or third month i would say which will which will inspire you to create new beginnings with the fool card to take new risks and trusting the universe because of this positive energy influencing you 
you have the universe's back that's how your mind will work at that time you think that the universe has your back and that's how you'll make your decisions that's how you'll progress in life but i can see that nothing's going wrong everything's going in your favor anyways you have a lot of good karma up your sleeves it's all happening in divine timing as well uh, all of these changes so some of these changes could take some time maybe this is not the next six months it could also be a year or two okay even though i'm channeling energies for the next six months but i can feel like this is more of an energy of the next 12 months at least if i'm being honest but anyways i'm gonna look at this next six months energies obviously because <laughs> we're not here to do about the next uh 12 months reading we're here to do about what the next six months look like for you so anyways uh with the queen of cups energy here hmm now the this uh, ten of cups energy would soften you up into your queen of cups energy regardless of your gender i can see you uh being sensitive about different matters taking decisions considering your emotional side and your practical and logical side as well so your decisions would be based off of emotions not only logistics unlike the last fire <laughs> okay <laughs> where people were just unemotional and completely calculate <laughs> but anyways uh, this is this is a good sign but this shows how much of a powerful leader you are. There's something about you being a leader, you taking on the role of leadership in your career or in your household, in maybe another aspect of your life, taking some type of control, influencing your community, influencing your family, having the power to change the trend, change the course, of, of uh, a specific situation that's what i'm getting here and i can see that you would be more in touch with your heart in the next six months as well so in your career i can see your career going smoothly and maybe you might get a promotion you might get promoted maybe you guys are a manager right now and you might get a promotion or if you're not the manager i can see you guys taking up a leadership role in your workplace you being promoted to a leadership role or you might get a job that requires you to utilize your leadership skills I, I i don't know why but i feel like some of you guys work in human resource management or you might work in human resource management in the near future okay and you would love doing that you would love your job you would be so satisfied with the income with the environment you're working in with your peers because i can see you guys creating long-lasting relationships you might even find uh, someone special at your workplace as well with the two of cups here if you guys are still single watching this uh, i can see you guys finding someone special in the next six months maybe through your workplace through friends definitely through friends or your workplace you guys would just connect because of how similar the both of you would be how you guys think alike that would be something that would attract the both of you to each other like a magnet and with the three sorry with the empress here now this is an amazing energy the empress's energy is beautiful this card talks about creativity abundance and passion so abundance is coming in for you we also have like the king of pentacles here which talks about abundance and leadership again and the queen the empress is also a leader so we have multiple leadership cards in your reading that's the main energy today leadership you'll be taking up a leadership role in the next six months either it's in your car definitely it could be in your career or it, it's uh, talking about how you'll take control of your life for starters 
and then progress to this leadership position in your career. Yeah. But I don't know why I'm just sticking to the word leadership again and again in your reading. It's the highlight of this pile. It's the highlighting energy. I always circle back to leadership again and again. But anyways, I'll just stop saying that. It's annoying. But yeah, with the Empress here, I can see you being more in touch with your creative side, innovative side, and following your passion. I can see you guys working this leadership role and also maybe starting your own business. Oh yeah, that could be something. You could be starting your own business even for some of you guys or starting... Um, A side shop it's the same thing but anyways a small business or something where uh, you might be selling your art pieces or something that requires your creativity people would definitely worship I don't know why but you're being worshipped in the next six months at the end of the next six months I can get that vibe where you're being worshipped looked upon admired for what you've become what you've achieved so far because we also have the king of pentacles here now that's reserved energy right reserved energy so you will be secure financially you'll have the financial stability you'll have a perf you'll be following your ambition and deploying resources in the correct way in order to achieve your goals practically being business minded and success like this whole reading is about success okay you being successful in the next six months success as well leadership and success are the two highlights of this reading and also grounding your dreams, grounding, setting a base for your business, your future business, or setting a base for your dreams, whatever they may be, getting a dream job or getting your dream house, dream apartment, whatever it may be. I can see that maybe you might cull, like might save up save up enough money. Sorry, you might save up enough money to invest in something, invest in a company or something. Okay, or buy a house or buy your dream apartment whatever it may be or lease your dream apartment okay i can see you being the financial provider in your household maybe earning the most in your household by the next by the end of the next six months being the main provider of your household may i won't say main but I would say the highest earning individual in your family in the next six months. Wow, congratulations. You know, I can definitely see that happening. That's why I said that for some of you, it's the next six months. For some of you, it's in about a year or two years. I was getting that time slot here, so I had to talk about it. But anyways, uh, this is for some of you. But yeah, just look inside yourselves. Follow your heart, follow your intuition, and all will be well. It will go as it's supposed to go. And we also have the Ace of Cups. So I can see uh, you being surrounded by compassionate and loving individuals who genuinely want to support you, guide you, and stay beside you. Pile 2. As for your love life, I think I already mentioned it, but... Maybe you might be in a relationship. Some of you guys here are already in a relationship and it's going pretty well. It could progress into something more. Maybe this person might ask your hand in marriage. Or if you already have someone you like, I can see that you both, the both of you would start dating. In a month or two, in the next month or two, you both might start dating and things might progress pretty quickly. You guys might travel and take new risks, whatever it may be. Also with the Queen of Cups, one of you, I, I see a balance here, a balance of emotions, a balance of feelings, respect, this person respecting you, you respecting your person, there's a mutual amount of effort being put in to make this work, 
which is why people would look up to your relationship they would want your relationship some some of them might be jealous of your relationship but some of them would definitely admire it and i can see your person taking responsibility grounding the connection making it official or asking your hand in marriage like i just said now that's the love reading of the next 6 months let's get some more cards let's see what else can we get we have the indecision card in reverse so you will know what to do this talks about your clarity in decision making also we have the angel of love which talks about you being surrounded by love and being blessed by the angel of love you have the silver waterfall which talks about abundance yet again so you would be surrounded by abundance you would be surrounded by happiness fulfillment joy whatever you want to call it warmth everything that you've always wanted would be at your feet in the next 6 months because i like i just said you might be the highest earning individual in your family or the highest earning individual in your workplace maybe Yeah. You could say that too. You have anxiety and growth. Okay, so definitely I can see you guys being anxious by how fast things are going, but at the same time you do know the growth you guys are cre- like making here. would be like the growth you guys are channeling here could never be achieved without this anxiety so it's valid for you to feel that way you have to give validation for what you feel even though those feelings could be negative could influence you negatively the more you accept those negative feelings the more the less severe those feelings would get so if you wish to decrease the anxiety decrease the stress in your life i would say that you should focus on what's actually making you anxious is it the is it the fast growth is it the fast movement or how things are progressing in your life something like that and just focus on that try to take things slowly if that's what you want that's just an example so take whatever as needs we have the botanus parenthood legacy okay so i was getting that some of you are parents here okay some of you are single parents or some of you might get pregnant in the next 6 months with the empress here if that's what you're looking for there's a chance of pregnant of you getting pregnant here if you conceiving or your person conceiving whatever it might be or just adopting okay let's see what else can we get yeah you have release your ex okay so maybe some of you guys are still stuck up on your ex so this is a sign for you to release your ex and finances and career will drastically improve like i just said stay optimistic about your love life file to a lot of positive energies are approaching you and for you to embrace those positive energies for you to invite more of such energies you have to be open to receiving yeah because you deserve to be loved you deserve all the happiness in the world by the let's see what else can we get for you yeah 
get one of these. Ask for help from others. So this is a sign for you to maybe reach out to some of your friends or your family members if you have some doubts on maybe a project or you wish to gain some guidance or advice for you to make a decision on something important, it would be best if you reach out to your friends or family members. This is advice for you right here. Don't shy away from talking to your family members because family is playing a big role in the next six months of your life for some of you. We have the ladder climbing towards success. Yay. We have gong, an exciting event. And we also have the bell announcement. So like I just said, things will progress pretty fast. It'll just happen in an, in an instant. You won't know when things got this different in your life. Okay, you know what? I don't even have words to explain what I'm feeling right now, but I'm trying my best to convey this message right here from your spirit guides that everything is as it's as it's supposed to be as it should be so it's important for you guys to stay patient and just be open towards receiving all of these beautiful gifts the universe has planned for you and we also have heather someone you know is undependable and insincere so just be careful about that Okay, while you ask help from others, someone might be a snake and try to lure you into the wrong direction. Just be aware of that and you're fine. So I think I'm going to leave it there for today. I hope this was helpful. If this wasn't your reading, feel free to check out the other piles in this video. Do like, share and subscribe for more readings like this one. I'll see you guys soon. Take care, you guys. Bye-bye. Have a good day and be safe. Hey pile three, those of you who chose this beautiful rose quartz crystal, this is your reading. Let's see, what do the next six months of your life look like? We have the sunflower and we have the great goddess, sacred unity, number 12, 17, sorry. So the number 17 could be significant to some of you. Take whatever resonates in your situation. Just letting you guys know that you could purchase some of my personal readings so if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me you could check out my etsy shop the link to my etsy shop is available in the description box or in the comment section my etsy shop is called tarot and divinity today and we have the queen of pentacles at the bottom of your deck we have the queen of swords we have the lovers three of swords nine of wands we have the page of cups two of wands And finally, the Wheel of Fortune. So, let's start off with your career first, before we get into your love life and your spiritual journey. Okay. So, let's start off with the Queen of Swords first. I can say that maybe you're dealing with a toxic superior, a toxic peer maybe that is causing quite the chaotic experience for you at your workplace. But there's a twist here where maybe you guys could turn into lovers with the lover's card right here. There will be a lot of drama because there is the chemistry between the both of you. You are trying to pull back. You're trying to 
suppress those feelings those emotions you feel for your peer or for your colleague or whatever i mean your superior if that's your superior who i'm talking about here uh there is some sort of competition which is attracting you both closer to one another and your person loves a challenge <laughs> this is a career reading but yet you know the romance is coming in anyway so definitely i can see that this is someone from your workplace if it's not just let that message fly by this is for those viewers who are dealing with a love interest at work but anyways with the lovers here i could see a major choice being made here in regards to your career and realizing that not everything is just about competition not everything's a race sometimes you have to fail sometimes you have to fall down or lose at something in order to win that's deep <laughs> okay now that's what the three of swords is about right here maybe i can see that you and this person or maybe you are in a situation where you're competing with someone you like and you would win against that person but it's like you broke their heart and <laughs> but you had to win it was kind of selfish of you to do that but anyways if you're doing this for yourselves it's not selfish it, it might seem selfish from their perspective but from your perspective it's completely right for you to do that because everything's fair in love and war <laughs> right <laughs> But anyways, uh, with the nine of wands here, I can see you guys uh, creating creating a future with you that requires a proper base. So you are building that base right now, or you will be building that base in the next six months. Maybe a base for your future business, maybe saving up some money or just creating a community of genuine supporters who could invest in your business or creating a community of talented people who could work on the same project as you. So you guys could brainstorm and share ideas about what you think should be improved at in this product or service or what should be removed from this product or service what resource or what inputs what inputs should be integrated or what out what kind of output should be created and all of that stuff i can see you guys discussing that with a community right here of your own making you would be gathering some talented people and discussing matters such as that but i can see this determination even though you might fail you might fail at like i just said that you will have a win here against someone of your interest that is in your interest or this could also go the other way around for some of you guys that you might fail at something but yet you guys have picked yourselves up and you're not letting go of this lane this journey you're not changing your path just because of one failure you're ready to learn from your mistakes and understand what needs to be repaired what needs to be considered for you to not repeat that mistake again that determination is what will take you forward to different heights in your career with the two of wands as well and the page of cups we're not looking at the romantic aspect here but i can see that you would be falling in love with your career slowly even though there would be ups and downs in your career you would still stick to that some people change their career when they receive such harsh experiences but you would stick to it because you are determined to make it work to level up your game and gain power in your workspace your workplace all right that's what i'm getting now that's amazing i like your energy pile 3 i like how 
uh, dedicated you are towards your goals. It's quite admirable. All the best to you guys. And I can see that you guys would be exhausted while you come halfway the next three months. So uh, it would be quite exhausting for you with these ups and downs in the workload, I guess, or just dealing with different matters. It would drain you physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually even for some of you. But it would still help you to gain more skills. That cur curious and lively attitude of yours would keep you going because that's what this page of cups is about right here. The page of cups talks about the spark of inspiration that you get every day when you wake up because of this career path you chose. It's because of what you think. You're imaginative. You're an imaginative person. Your imagination is out of this world. Like whatever you think could be implemented into real life if you put your mind to it. That's the talent you possess, pile three. Now that's a rare talent. If you put your mind to it, you could be innovative enough to create that specific product or carry out that specific service in real life. Because you're following your heart. This career that you've chosen was a dream career since you, was a, you were a child. Or maybe from the past few years, you've been passionate about this and you're following this. But anyways, you are a artist. Sorry, you are a, an artist. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. My tongue is slipping today, guys. Just mind me. But yeah, you are an artist by heart you are a dreamer you have a childlike enthusiasm towards your goals towards your career which is rare many people just do their jobs because they have to do it but you're interested in doing whatever you're doing you're falling in love with a job even more day by day which is going to take you places that you've just dreamt, like that you've dreamt of for so long. That's gonna take you places. This is going to take you places. This attitude is going to make you succeed in your career. That's what I'm trying to say. This is so funny. But anyways, uh, with the two of wands, uh, sorry about that guys. I can see you guys having a choice here at the end of the next six months in your career. Maybe two job options, or maybe you might be traveling. You might have a chance to settle down somewhere else, a better place with a better income with a better job so you might want to consider that and definitely you will have a new path new possibilities you will have achieved some success yet you'll be seeking more something more out of that and that's human tendency every human wants that they're never satisfied with with whatever they have they want more and more and more until there's nothing left and still they want more. So that's what I'm getting here. So uh, with the wheel, I can see that the wheel uh, of fortune talks about karma here. So whatever is happening to you in the next six months would be based off of karma. Whatever you've done in the past, either it's bad or good, you will, you will reap whatever you've sown. Definitely a turning point in your career would take place as well. Good luck. is Good luck would, would be knocking, like definitely like you guys have good luck up your sleeves. You have luck up your sleeves. Opportunities would be knocking your door and you'll learn how to let go of something. I can see that you would, you have a comp you have quite the impulsive attitude with the queen of swords here the queen of swords is not that impulsive but i don't know why but i feel i sense that impulsive attitude here you'll be letting go of that attitude and shifting into this surrendering future because through these experiences you would understand that sometimes it's just important for you to let go and let the universe decide what's next in your life 
That's what I'm getting. So this is the nine of wands is also quite the impulsive energy, I would say. In my opinion, that's my opinion. But yeah, and as far as love goes, uh, you won't be focusing on love. It will come to you by itself. And it would just be a lesson yet again. A small situation could occur in the next six months, in the duration of the next six months, maybe... A month long or a two month long situation ship that would help that would make you guard your heart even more with the nine of wands but you would still have a desire to find love and you might have some options at that time at the end of that six month course you might have some options to consider from maybe two people or three people but anyways, you'll just leave it up to God. You'll leave it up to the universe to decide what is meant for you. Whatever is meant to you, for you will come to you. That's the attitude you'll keep towards your life in general after the next six months. Okay, let's get some more cards. We have you're ready. So you're ready for what it takes. Pile three. It's all happening as it's supposed to. We have love. I can see you guys uh, practicing self-love and falling in love with your career, falling in love with your job, falling in love with the people around you. We have rest and it's important to, for you guys to take enough rest in this six month period because I can see you guys getting extremely exhausted with the nine of wands while trying to preserve your energies, keeping your boundaries. You have the shepherd, celebration family. Okay, so at the end of this six month period, I can see you guys celebrating with your family, our friends, celebrating your success, your recent success, your recent triumph. We have codependency, so you might have a codependency towards something, some addiction that might be affecting your chances at succeeding in a certain task for your career, in your career. So it's important for you to pay attention to that and not repeat the same mistake which you've already uh, reflected on in the past. Yet it's supposed it's it's about to happen again. Sorry, <laughs> I don't know why my tongue is slipping today. But anyways, it's bound to happen again. So in order for you guys to avoid the amount of dam damage that might happen, it's important for you guys to understand the addictions you might have, the negative addictions, maybe smoking or drinking. I mean, it doesn't have to be smoking or drinking. It could be a negative thought pattern, an opinion. A perspective it could be anything depending on your situation i won't say smoking is a bad thing or anything but anyways like uh it just depends on your situation now you would know what i'm talking about for those of you who do resonate with this message attachment yet again okay so you're negatively attached to maybe a certain pattern which is why we also have the wheel of fortune which talks about going in circles so there's a cycle that you guys might be following, a negative cycle. For you guys to break that, it's important for you to surrender to the energy that is being offered to you by the universe. Because of your impulsive attitude, you end up in the most darkest corners of your life. So it's important to just surrender and let the universe handle things for you. Just do whatever you're doing. Don't force things to happen. Everything is going to happen in due time. Everything is bound to happen in due time. We also have the dragon. Be beware of self-delusion. Exactly what I'm talking about. Be aware of such negative thoughts. Unrealistic thoughts that could stray you from your goal. Beware of self-delusion. We have money path. A path with money is waiting for you to find it. Exactly. What else do we have? Frank Pan. Trouble accusations. So there would definite, definitely be trouble. 
in your journey obviously nothing <laughs> is risk free <laughs> and uh, no journey is a cakewalk so it's important for you to understand that every journey involves its challenges its ups and downs and you have to be patient and understanding of yourselves while you make those mistakes that's the real challenge that's the real quest that's the real test from the universe for you we have the caterpillar things will not always be this way a change is coming definitely at the end of this six month period you would be at a completely different place in your life emotionally mentally might maybe even physically some for some of you guys you might be at a completely different place so things will not always be this negative if things are going down for you guys just remember that things will change there's always light after the darkness believe in yourselves believe in the universe and take enough rest as well if you deserve it pile three i think i'm gonna leave it here i hope this resonated and i hope you enjoyed this reading if this wasn't your reading feel free to check out the other piles in this video and do like share, and subscribe for more readings like this one i'll see you guys soon take care you guys bye bye have a good day and be safe